Hey everyone, welcome to the final cut. Now, after watching Expendables 2, it got me thinking about other ensemble films out there. And I've got one that you may not have heard of, but the name will be familiar. And that is the movie Clue from 1985. Now, this is a comedy. It is based off of the board game. And it basically involves a group of people who are invited to a house where they are confronted by the fact that one of them in the room is a black male uh, is blackmailing the rest of them. Well, when things go awry and one of them ends up dead, the mystery begins of who did it with what and where. Well, they kind of know where anyway. And then from there, things just get out of hand and go a little more crazy as more people start dropping off. And it's still the who done it of who killed what and where carries throughout the film just like it's in the board game. Folks, now, Clue, as far as the story-wise, if you want to get down to brass tacks, it's not a complicated story at all, okay? It's your basic whodunit, all right? But what makes this movie, I think, a cut above the rest is just the fact of the comedic timing and the direction and the overall just body of this film of how it is handled and paced. Each character, I mean, Eileen Brennan's Mrs. Peacock is fantastic as the kind of funny daddy older lady, okay? You got Tim Curry's Wadsworth, who is kind of the uh, glue that holds it all together. He's the butler that, you know, interacts with everybody. You got Christopher Lloyd's lecherous Professor Plum. You got Madeline Kahn as her, uh, the very uh, dark Mrs. White, okay, Michael McKeon as Mr. Green, who's just hilarious in this, okay, Martin Mull's nervous Colonel Mustard, Leslie Ann Warren's very sultry Miss Scarlet, and Colleen Camp as Yvette, the very voluptuous maid. Folks, this crew just, they nail it. I mean, you watch this film, and you gotta pay attention because it just comes at you with perfect speed and pauses and delivery. You know, it, it's not a complicated film, but it is a very well-directed film, especially for first-time director Jonathan Lynn handling such a large cast as this. He did a very impressive job. Now, when they came out with this movie, that actually had three endings, which... Uh, was really great marketing tool at the time because different movie theaters got different uh, endings, uh, films with different endings. So you actually had to go to three different theaters sometimes to see the endings. And I thought that was really cool. But, you know, as much as excitement as I have and everything about this film, it is old. And, you know, a lot of the actors in it you don't recognize anymore. Some of them are dead. And, yeah, I just, you know... In fact, I think after watching this film again, it's just really deflated me and... I can't do movie reviews anymore, so it it doesn't even get a stub. Um, yeah, you, you know the rest. And now, when they did this marketing for this film, you know, they did three endings, which was really kind of cool. I mean, because you had to go to each theater and, uh, you, you know, you hit different theaters and find out which one did it. And, uh, you know, I just love this movie. It makes me so excited. I just, ow! I, they don't really make a lot of comedies like this anymore, okay? It all relies on the performance of everybody, and everybody does brilliant in the film. Yes, it is a five-stubber. It is a recommended. You're looking for a comedy? Go retro. Go 1985. The Clue. Okay, or excuse me. Clue. All right? You won't get disappointed. And at the end, you'll be shake, rattling, and rolling your guts because you've been laughing so hard. And then I'm about to do it for us here. Final cut. Till next time. Keep the ticket stuff. Breakfast, cause I'm a hungry man. I said, shake.